G'day viewers, <laughs> another cam trip. We're just outside of Bow Desert. I oh, just passed through Bow Desert, popped in and grabbed some morning tea and stopped at the local park here for some lunch. So we're on our way through to Rath Downey and then a campground just out the side of Rath Downey at um, Mount, Barney. Mount Barney. So we'll be there for four days, so Thursday through Friday, Saturday then Sunday. Um, as usual, all <laughs> sorts days. of stuff happening. Yeah, that's four days, isn't it? Four days. <laughs> Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, that's four days. Anyway, <laughs> so usual stuff. We'll have some. Uh, I'm going to do a rig walk around of the uh, of my Ute, the Hilux, because uh, we uh, didn't do a detailed one of that last time. We've got a couple of cooking segments. Uh, could be some walks on, and we've got a special surprise. Uh, we've got a new logo release. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's going to come up. Uh, we might have that in this video, or we might post that separately, or just might do that both. So we'll see how we go. So. Looking forward to another good camp, so uh, more to come. See you then. We've made it to Red Downey Pub, getting closer. Heading towards Mount Barney. Oh, it's hidden. Campfire traveller. <laughs> the shot of Mount Barney. Can't believe I've climbed that monster. Doesn't look very high, but oh god. Roxgrabble City. Oh, I'm good at getting trees in the way. There it is. Here's Mr. Campfire Traveller getting now, the tent down. Guys, if you don't have one of these, look what I picked up in the last birthday run. Mrs. Campfire Traveller had it all together. Hey, ideal. Look at this. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Fantastic, guys. Get one. Hey, gun viewers. Just part way through our setup. Just got to go up and do a wee break. But uh, just on the way, didn't take long to get that done. Probably only about 10 minutes work there, and we're probably... Oh, 20. Oh, 20. Call it 15. Um, oh. Most of the way set up, not much to do. So just give you a quick look at the campground. So there's no one there next to us. There's no one there. There's no one there. There's a swag all the way up there. No one there. No one there. And there are our solar panels there. So, hopefully it stays that way.
Hey gun viewers, just getting ready for the night. So getting the fire going so we can get our coals. So over here, I think um, hamburgers tonight. So uh, I've got a, a banana and honey damper. Just put that together earlier on. So real easy, um, two cups of flour, uh, a little bit of milk, um, a little bit of butter, and mash up your banana and put a little bit of honey in. So uh, I'll get that on later on and I'll show you how that goes. And um, yeah, getting ready for dinner tonight. Uh, welcome back viewers. So we've got the campfire going, just getting up some coals ready for uh, for dinner. I think the guys over there in the background might be having some issues with their fire. But let's, let, oh we, we'll go over later on and maybe give them a hand. But listen, we've got a bit of a special moment here. Yeah, here we've got a, uh, a release. Oh, with Laurie Marie here. And look, the release of our new and improved Campfire Travelers logo. So we've got special shirts done up and for our very favorite subscriber, ASW Holder. Look at that. So all you guys that aren't subscribers yet, get into it. Okay, they're going fast. In fact, that's the first and only one that we've given away. But look at that shirt. Very privileged. Uh, very privileged. So, Thank you, Campfire uh, Travelers. Yeah, there you go. Okay, back soon. Out. Bye. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Hey. What's for dinner? Hey. Got the rissoles on. Got the um, the oven being preheated for the damper. So once we finish cooking, we'll um, we'll throw our damper in and give that uh, probably only about 20 minutes. Um, remember, two thirds coals on top, one third <laughs> coals below. Hey, that's important. Don't burn your damper. <laughs> Hello viewers, we're about to dive into our banana and honey damper. Looks okay, nice little crust on the top, which is good. Probably took about probably about 25 minutes, didn't do it too quick. So um, anyway, we'll dive in, I'm sure it'll be fine. Righto viewers, here we are at the Mount Barney National Park. So uh, a very, very nice day, as you can see. No, I'm not taking photos, I'm taking a vid. Ah. Okay, for the viewers. Okay, so we're going to do a trek here this afternoon. So, as I said, Mount Barney National Park. So, here are all the details. So, when you get here, uh, so I'll stop far from the campgrounds, just up the road. So, well, all the information that you need here. So, make sure you check it all out. Safety first, guys. Don't forget your sunscreen. I've lathered up already. So, make sure you've got, make sure you've got a suitable amount of water as well and to come and have a look at the information board. There is uh, some maps you can get from the campground. That's the one that we're going to do today. It's just a 12 to 14 hour hike. So uh, we're getting away promptly at, um, oh, it's about 10 o'clock at the moment. So uh, we'll see how we go with that anyway. So we'll give you an update when we get back, but uh, make sure you check out the board. So here are our Trepid Advisors or uh, Trekkers. So uh, that's for today's trek. Uh, so if we get lost, God help us all. <laughs> Well, good day, viewers. We're 1,200 metres into our 14k walk. <laughs> we mightn't get all the way today, but uh, you know, one we're, hour walk. We're, we're, he, we're here for the effort, not the glory. So uh, we're at the top of the. Where are we? Uh, yellow pinch. Yellow pinch lookout. Uh, lookout. So that's a bit uh, of it in the background there. So I'll pan around in a second and uh, give you a look. Uh, here's the rest of our intrepid walkers. Uh, survived the trek. Hey, looking as fresh as the day they were born. Woo! Yeah, it was an early birth and, birth and it was a troubled one. But anyway, not, not to worry. It's uh, we're here, so uh, I'll pan around and give you a shot of uh, of what we're looking at.
Are you on? Yes. Are you on? Yes, I'm on. Oh, get eight viewers. Oh. Oh, just did a 10k run up to the top. It was a good run too. I don't know where the others are. <laughs> to try and find them, I just got someone random. I've just found in the car park here who uh, did a video in for me. So uh, we've got to find the others. Oh, back around here. So anyway, so just a quick run. So get up the top there. You don't have to run like I did. You can just take your time. Oh. But uh, anyway, get in and enjoy. Okay, random sir, you can turn that off now. Hi there, viewers. We yep. did it. The other two have turned up two hours after I got down. But that's all right. They, in they our one themselves. hour walk to the lookout. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but anyway, Scrambled it took, it took to two hours. <laughs> no, they both did really well. It is a bit of a scramble to the top, so just be conscious of that. But uh, this it's well like in. the yellow pinch lookout. Yeah, yeah, yellow pinch lookout. Mount Barney we Summit. There, up that little hill. Yeah. We're here. We went through the Yeah, that, that map's not to scale. But uh, anyway, we, make sure we you... We maybe didn't do this one. Have no, we? no, no, no. Well, let's, let's be clear. We don't want to mislead viewers. No, yeah, no. we did... This one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the, yeah. the map's not the scale. Like, that's a pretty big walk. But anyway, that's not, that's, that's not the important thing. Anyway, we're going to go and see if we can find a, a little Water local hole. watering hole just to dip the feet. So more on that later, viewers. Out. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mr. Campfire Traveller. Uh, adventurer, mountain climber, male model. <laughs> okay, you, now you're dreaming. Oh, I made it look easy. Okay. That's because I made it look easy. <laughs> hey, that was a sheer cliff that you just descended. I'm going to have to leave people here, I think. <laughs> anyway, we're going to come down and have a look at the water hole. Hopefully, there's a water hole down here we can have a a quick look out. So out for now viewers. Well we just heard some yahooing and we think that there's potentially a Kelvin Klein model up there in the water. So further upstream we're heading. <laughs> we're, we're racing up <laughs> trying not to trip over in our anticipation yes, of seeing the shirtless model. <laughs> we'll give you an update soon. <laughs> See <Out>. ya. <laughs> okay viewers found the watering hole. Hey. Just gone full nature, hey? So, have a good look around. This is the place to be. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yep, okay, get in you pair. Okay, but we were looking for the Calvin Clive model. Where's he? Yeah, we, we, we were told there was a shirtless Calvin Clive yeah. model. Ah! <laughs> God, no! Hey, this is a kid's show. Please! Hey, gay viewers. <laughs> We're here at the. Um, the as soon as we get a bit of quiet, <laughs> we're, we're, we're here at the uh, watering hole that we found at the bottom of the camp. And it's and, amazing. Uh, it's amazing the wildlife you come across. <laughs> okay. Woo! We're not too sure what species these are. But, uh, campfire traveller species. Campfire traveller species. So, yeah, there you go. So, get into it. No excuses. Get out there. It's amazing the... and so close to the car park. Yeah, 200 metres from the car park. And we can't touch bottom. Yeah, no, it's no, a great swimming hole. It's quite cold. We didn't find the Calvin Klein model, though. Yeah, you know, he's here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, out for now, viewers. Hey, gum viewers. We're here at the Scenic Rim Brewery. So Marie's just had a paddle of beers. I've just had one for the road. Hey, Laurie's had a few as well, had a bit of a cheese board. So if you're in the Scenic Rim, make sure you call in and take a look. It's located at, I have no idea where it's Mount located. Mount Alfred. There you go, Mount Near Alfred. Near Boona. Near Boona. Okay, but I'm sure Mr. Go Mrs. Worth Google will find it. So uh, make sure you take a look. So Scenic Rim Brewery, certainly worth it calling in and saying hello to the locals. And have a beer paddle. It's and their have own a beer boutique yep. stuff. It's all their own like stuff. Like Fakwa. Fakwa beer. <laughs> yes. Very popular. Or Fakwa Q. No, Q, is it? Yeah, Q. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Righto, guys. See you next time. Bye.
Hey gun viewers. Well, today what we're gonna do is a cooking session. We're going to do uh, a bread, but it's a needless bread. So you don't need to knead it. Uh, and in fact, the uh, recipe says you make it actually quite sloppy and let it rest obviously for the, um, for the yeast to, uh, to do its business. And then we get it on the campfire. So we're gonna do this before lunch so we can cook up some, um, some bread for lunch, or we'll try anyway. As a backup, we have wraps. Okay, so ingredients, plain flour. So you need some of that. We've got our yeast. Okay, so we need a bit of yeast, a uh, little bit of salt, and warm water, not cold water and not boiling water, just warm water. Obviously that makes the, everything happen. So got our camp oven ready. We've got some uh, baking paper to sit it on so it goes in the campfire. Um, so anyway, that's the go. So. Let's start off with our plain flour, okay? I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's plain flour. So, uh, I have my faithful assistant on the side uh, that will undoubtedly correct me as I go for things that I do wrong. So how much flour do we need? Three. Three. Three cups. So three cups. One. Two and a half. Oh, that's, is that a cup or half a cup? Oh, a cup. That's a cup. No, you're measuring things. Okay. There's half a cup. So that's one and a half now. <laughs> that's two. Two and a half. Oh yeah, it's pretty close to three. Oh okay. my god. Okay. okay, so there's our flour. Okay. Seems a lot of flour, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Already um, measuring wasn't enough to scratch. <laughs> so we need some yeast. So these are just these little yeast satchels. Now the good one, good thing about this yeast is you don't need to keep it in the fridge. It's just dry yeast. So let's get that in. So we need two of those. All right. How much salt do we need? Mixed flour, yeast, and salt. Salt. Two teaspoons. That's two teaspoons, I reckon. That's oh close enough. Oh my god. Okay, so give it a bit of a mix. Mm. Okay, get that out of the road so you can see what's going on. So just give it a rough mix. That's a rough mix. Okay, so how much water do we need? Is it cool? Hey? Is it only warm? Yes, it's only warm. <laughs> okay, so water, water, water. It's not hard. Uh, one and a half cups. One and a half cups, righto. Did you do your little well? One. Oh, yeah, sort of a and well. And you have to mix it with the handle of the spoon. Oh, yeah, well, they're both made out of wood, so I don't know that that's an issue. Well, I think it must impact. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Use the handle. Dough will be wet and sloppy, not kneadable. Yes. But not runny like cake batter. All right, okay, so I'm getting lots of instructions here, viewers. <laughs> Let's see how we go. So, yeah, so apparently this is a no-knead recipe, so other than sticking it somewhere for two and a half hours just to let the yeast do its thing, you don't actually need it like you do a normal bread recipe. So we'll see how it goes. And apparently it's supposed to be quite sloppy in the pan here. Um, Maybe quite... the handle gets in into the bits and pieces. Yeah, okay, the, the, handle's, the handle's not the issue here. <laughs> I'm thinking we might need a little bit more water because I probably had a little bit more extra flour. Mm. So let's just try a little bit extra water, viewers, because it's not quite as sloppy not too much, as. Not too much. Oh, jeez. I'm not quite quite getting that wet consistency sort of feel that apparently it's meant to have. It's coming up a bit of a treat now, though, and I'll show it to you in a sec so you can see. You probably can't see, but it, it's quite. It's not as dry as what you think a bread should be and you'd sort of panic a bit so we're going a little bit on faith here but um well that's the idea of trying a new recipe isn't it so we'll see how it goes so i reckon that's mixed in quite well so you reckon that's sloppy enough oh, i don't know i think there's a bit more mixing with my cooking skills yes with marie's 15 minutes in culinary <laughs> school she's determined that it needs more mixing so but don't don't beat the hell out of it or you'll probably kill it kill the yeast well, no, I don't think you kill the yeast, but anyway, let's not, <laughs> not worry about that. So we're not making sort of a damper or scones where you've got to be careful not to beat the air out of it. This is a bread, obviously, but I reckon that looks pretty good, viewers. I'll bring mm, it over. Is it a bit lumpy? No, it's not lumpy. 
it just adds to it. So you can see there it's <laughs> it's still sort of quite sort of runny. So probably a little bit wetter than you'd think a bread mixture needs to be. But as I said, this is a new recipe for us and we're just trying it out. So cover with cling wrap. Have you got cling wrap there? Yeah, I do have cling wrap, yes. Where? Okay, so there we go viewers. So what we're gonna do now, we'll leave it there and we'll let that sit for I think about two and a half hours. And two to three hours until it doubles. Two, two to three hours is two and a half hours. <laughs> um, so we'll show you how that doubles, hopefully doubles in size later on, and then we'll uh, get it ready and bake it up. Okay, sounds good. You want to hit stop on that point? Okay, viewers, we're just going to give you a bit of a before and after shot of, uh, of the dough. So before rise and after rise. So hopefully we'll see a difference in the two. So that's what it looks like right now. And uh, we'll check it again in about two and a half hours. G'day viewers. Listen, we're back again. A um, bit of a story to tell. <laughs> so we're going to redo our bread. Um, as you saw earlier on, we'd made our bread and then we'd had it over in the sun uh, rising and uh, we were about two hours in and we thought, okay, start cooking the fire. So we're over there getting the fire ready and then we saw these big two goannas getting into our bread mix. So we've renamed our bread the uh, goanna bread. So, uh, <laughs> Only at the fireside, oh, campfire travellers. Campfire travellers. Well, we have bread. goannas taking our bread. Yeah, anyway, so these things happen. <laughs> so we're going to redo our bread. So we're going to do that now, again, with our flour, yeast, salt, and warm water. Get it in the sun, two hours, get it uh, all ready to go. And then we'll try again, and we'll obviously be keeping an eye out for goannas. So and we'll be uh, keeping a, a strong guard on the bread. Guard, strong guard on our bread. So, yes, yeah, so anyway. We'll come back once we've got our bread in hand and we'll let you know how it's gone. Okay, out for now. So we thought we'd put our bread out of harm's way inside the ute. It's bubbling up risen and now we are starting up the coals starting up the coals to heat up our camp oven expert on the go oh hitch the pants <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we're hoping that the goanna steers clear of the bread Oh, are you going? Yes, I'm going. Oh, Ready? Geez. Go. <laughs> Action. Action. Okay, so we're going to get our bread out now, guys. Uh, get a bit of this um, so just, baking paper. Just letting everyone know this did survive the goanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marie guarded it with her life. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of flour on this. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. So apparently you're supposed to sort of turn it out and just fold it a bit. Oh god, other, this will be interesting. Other weird and wonderful things. Oh yeah, yeah. Well this is this is our this is our first time with this one. <laughs> so it's meant to be sort of remember it's meant to be sort of a bit runny, so don't get too concerned guys. Oh that looks alright. Yeah, that's why I say good. It's meant to be that sort of runny sticky consistency smell the yeast oops quick yeah, I'll, I'll get that don't worry folks don't worry don't let it blow no, and no, get no, the goanna not blowing away <laughs> okay so i'll put that to one side so apparently you're supposed to sort of fold it a bit Oh god, that doesn't look right, does it? No, it doesn't look right. Maybe I haven't got enough flour on the paper, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, I 
think it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, look, it's all right. It's sort of coming off the paper a bit. Just <laughs> fold it a bit. And just sort of shape it a bit, apparently. Because I've got an oval camp oven, so I want to end up with sort of a bit of an oval sort of shape to it. And apparently you fold it over and that's what gives it its sort of creases. Okay. Do we put butter on top as well or is it yeah, just... Yeah, butter on top. So I don't know, what do you reckon? Is that good enough? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, we'll give it a go. Give it a go. Hey, can't be worse than what the Goanna had. Um, right. mm. so a little bit of how many is that all you have to do, or yeah, I think or so. more? Right, we'll cut with that and then we'll come back when we're putting it in the kettle. Oops, I just cut your head off. Whoop. Okay, you're going to put it in now. I'm filming now. Creating the coals, the bread. <gasps> okay, we've got it on the coals. Hot. You have to put the flames out. Right, let's see how we go. Ready. Okay, right, viewers, we're going to try our bread. Now, remember, always use a glass <laughs> when picking up a hot. Um, <laughs> Uh, camp up like this. So I picked one up before just to sort of give you a bit of a demonstration of what not to do because safety first, okay? So let's have a look and how she's come up. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be inside yet, but we'll get her out and we'll have a bit of a look. You think it needs to be browner? Says me with why my. We, why don't we have a look through it, hey? With my great cooking abilities, okay, anyone that knows would know I shouldn't be asking questions. Right, so let's get this out. Again, use your glove, guys. <laughs> okay. Right. Take it over and let's have a look at how she's come up. Now it is a, it is sort of a flat <coughs> bread, so that's what it's designed to be. <laughs> The next what time we'll try now? a more nutritional one, but yeah, this was a this was cooked as a flatbread. So let's take it over and we'll open it up and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> a flatbread. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, guys, we're going to try their bread. So come in close and we'll have a look and see how she's turned out. It's hot. <laughs> Do you need a glove? I need a glove. Safe. <laughs> Safety first. Okay. It's such a clean looking glove, oh, too. Yeah, Oh, it sounds crunchy. What's it like? Oh, oh cool. look at that. Hey. Mm. So there you go, guys. That's our flatbed bread recipe. Mm. So we'll get a bit of get a bit of butter onto that over dinner and see how it turns out. Okay, out for now. Oh. Out for. Okay, viewers, we're going to try out our bread. See how it goes. It smells Aye? delicious. One of the best cook critics there is. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see the look on the face. Mm. How is it? Mm, yum. All right. Mm. Is it cooked? Mm. Brilliantly. Oh, brilliantly. Okay, so that's our flat bread recipe, guys. So we've learned from this. It's delicious. So we'll give um, 
We'll try a more traditional loaf next time. So there are different ways we can probably shape it before we cook it. But uh, this was our first go anyway. So uh, it by tastes, all accounts, it's really good. It's fantastic. It is yummy. On you viewers. Mm. Okay, viewers. Last update for the night. We are travellers. We're by the campfire. That makes us campfire travellers. <laughs> living the dream. I'm living the dream. With a cow in the background. <laughs> How are you going, viewers? We just packed up after our stay at the Mount Barney Lodge campgrounds. So you can see Mount Barney in the background there. So uh, we didn't climb it this time, but Marie has, but maybe next time. So we've been here for fourth days, four days. So today was day four. So uh, we definitely come back here again. Loved so, it. Yep, loved it. it. Was good. Hey, including Found the a great swimming hole. Great swimming hole. Hey, Cooked go some in. bread. Twice. Some bread twice. <laughs> hey, go in. Just love the bread here. Once. <laughs> yeah, I only cooked it once. So I had a look around the local brewery, other bits and pieces. So definitely a good campsite to come back to, highly recommended. Nice and quiet too, so uh, yeah. you don't get the big vans here and certainly not lots of uh, screaming kids, so it's nice and quiet. Yeah, so. not really kids because there's no play equipment or anything and no, lots of walks no. around, so the yeah. older kids maybe. But, yeah. Ideal for us, yes, yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, that's all for now. So look out for our next video. It's coming up in Easter. It'll be another great one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And we'll see you soon. Bye.